G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, Jedi. Today I want to talk about the mod Light Torio. Now, Factorio has had darkness in it for as long as anybody can remember. And I've got to say, I love the darkness that the, the Factorio has a day-night cycle. And I, I really like the addition with 18 where as we get further and further out into the darkness in the middle of the night, because the time is saved at 2am, um, that everything gets a bit of a blue tinge rather than the black that we've had previously. But I still think Factorio misses something at nighttime. It's just missing that that little thing. And a lot of people put lights all through their factory, which I don't blame them. I'm just not really a lighting person. I don't like putting lights through my factory. I really think my factory should be self-lit in some way, shape, or form. And for me, Lightorio is one of those mods I think I'm going to include in future playthroughs because it just, it does such a simple little thing that, probably should be in vanilla factorio that yeah um anyway so how the mod works is each inside each assembler chemical plant and refinery and by the way for those who want to know yes it does work with bobs and angels um it adds just a little light inside each one of these machines and the light's only on if the machine is active so we ha we can see here i have some tier one assemblers which making gears they run pretty much flat out i have some tier two assemblers up here which you can see very, very faintly that occasionally are dropping the lights turning off because they can't get iron plate in fast enough. Down we, here we have tier three assemblers and because they run even faster, they're more star for material um, because the assemblers can't keep up. Over here, we've gone to four assemblers. Now they keep up perfectly fine. As you can see, the lights are on all the time. And over here, I have my final two examples, one which is output starved and one, uh, no, one which input starved and one which is uh, over uh, oversaturated with the output, I guess. Um, and as you can see, the lights have actually turned off. So what actually happens is basically the way this mod really, really works is you can very, very quickly have a glance around your base and see what is wrong and what's not running. So again, if I look at my chem plants, um, yes, chem plants do have a a chemical refinery flame up in the top corner in vanilla Factorio, but that flame doesn't actually provide any light uh, lighting on the map. So we can see right now that all my chem plants are actually running, except these two, because I can quickly glance over at nighttime and see, hey, you guys are not putting out the light you should be putting out. Um, same comes to chemical plants. We can see we have the top row is mostly lit. I need to face the character torch away the other way. So we can see, yeah, the top row is mostly lit. The bottom row, not so much, purely because there's just there's no uh, there's no petroleum for it, and same goes with my my chem my refineries. And have a quick look at those and go, okay, obviously we're crude oil starved, which means we're not producing enough petroleum, which means our chemical plants aren't running. Now this mod does come with a bunch of mod settings, and basically we can change any of the colors to any color we'd like. So we can see assemblers one, two, and three both all put out pure white light because they're on. Uh, one for red, green, and blue, whereas an oil refinery puts out a much more red tinge to the light, and a chemical plant puts out a red, green light. Yep, red, green light, um, which would be what, yellow? Yeah, yellow. There we go. I, I, I can do colors. Anyway, that's it for the mod. Look, I gotta say, I love this mod. I really hope and wish that something like this was actually included in vac Vanilla Factorio, because it just adds a little bit more to the maintenance, and a uh, maintenance adds a little bit more um to the aesthetics of the actual game and i really hope with 18 being their final polishing stage they look at this this sort of stuff and maybe consider adding something like this in the future anyway that's it from me as always link to the mod is down in the description below i highly recommend you guys check this out i gotta say i love it i love it it's quick it's simple um it's all about the aesthetics and yeah, I think it fits the world of Factorio very, very well. The only thing I would probably do is I would probably turn down the idle glow intensity to make it a little bit more obvious if a machine is or is not running because these guys up here are putting out probably a little bit too much light for my liking for machines that are 100% idle. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.